Hey guys, Capper here. Welcome back. Today's a coyote day. We're going to have some fun out in the field, so hope you join us for some fresh air. And I'll see if we can get something done. Look at that pretty tractor right there. That's an NX5510. Try to make just a little crown on here. I'll show you the driveway and why the crown is important. This whole drive was super low and wet uh, when we bought it. This whole thing. And so now we've built it up. Obviously, now the clay is dry. So I, I built this channel here on the left side. So water's gonna run down, but if we don't crown it, you'll get sitting water on this. You know, and you'll get potholes, I guess, for lack of a better term. And then gravel's coming after we grade it out. Okay, so this is Pro Staffer Phil's new tractor. He just got it recently from Little Tractor and Equipment, Harrisburg, Illinois. And as you can see, we're using a pretty dated back blade here, but hey, it still gets the job done. So today's mission is going to be to use the NX5510 and put a crown in this road and get it ready for gravel, which is going to be obviously the next step. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Keep in mind, if you do, please hit the like button. We'd really appreciate that. And also leave us a comment and consider sharing it as we're striving to hit 1,000 subscribers on Capper Outdoors 2.0. So let's get back into the uh, project. This is going to be interesting with the compact tractor. If you ever build your own gate, make sure you make it wider than you think you're going to need it. I try to get 20 feet or 24 feet, you know, two 10 foot gates, two 12 footers. But if you ever need a semi or something in there like this, this is all concreted in, so you can't mess. I'm not gonna mess with it, but just food for thought. So as far as building a crown on your driveway, you can see we have the blade angled. So it's going to push more material into the center. But in addition to that, we have it tilted. If you caught it earlier, Phil was tilting that. As you're looking at it, the right hand three point arm is lower. So the blade is angled, pushing the dirt towards the middle. And it's also tilted lower on the right, if you will, than it is on the left, which is also adding to the crown of the driveway.
So the next thing you want to pay attention to, let's say you have some dips in your driveway. It's a little bit wavy, so you want to manually run this up, the three-point blade, and you want to cut the, the humps that are higher, and you want to let it kind of float over the lower spots so that you can reduce those swales, if you will, and make it you know as level as possible. All right, starting to take shape. The challenging part is that a lot, a lot of it's wet and the rest of it is hard as rock because it's been drying out. So we added to this low spot and it's almost going to be good enough for what we want just to put the, the gravel on. So yeah, there's that hump right there. All right, uh, two, th two thirds done. It's starting to take shape, looking really good. Now we're kind of fine tuning, uh, scalping the high spots and letting it, letting it go into low spots. Right, as you're gonna see here it took a while but once you get the dirt broken up and loose 
uh, it's going to shape that crown a lot better. All right, here's the after look for the driveway. It turned out really, really nice. It's supposed to get rain tomorrow, but we'll see. We'll get some, uh, get some stone on here, and from here on out, it should be high and dry. <laughs> 